Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. We've got a uh, car we haven't been working on yet. The Royale. I forgot what brand it was. Anyway, it's this brand, Royale. So, um, what's wrong with it? Ooh, I can already see the, uh, that part is quite uh, rusty, it seems. Let's see. Belt, yeah, belt tensioner, timing belt, and water pump. Okay. We can actually just um, get all this. Belt tensioner. Belt tensioner. There it is. We also need the water pump. For an I-4. And what was the third thing? Oh yeah, the timing belt. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, such nice music. Timing belt. Um, a timing belt, 120. Wow. All right. So let's get this done. All right, we need to get the water pump off and the belt tensioner. And of course, the timing belt is in here. So let's disassemble the stuff. That goes off. And then the belt. Oops, this one. You know, I think I have a little bit of a problem because I'm using, um, I increased the FOV of the game quite a bit. But I see that in this game it's actually not that great because it zooms out so much. Let me see. Oh, I can't actually go into the settings. Okay. It's a bit of a annoyance that you can't go into the settings while you're in, you know, the garage or in the game. If you're not in the main menu. Right, so the timing belt will be replaced here. There is the timing belt. What's the condition? 6%! You want to f screw up your car, jeez. If your timing belt fails, you will smash your engine so good, because the, the valves will just be obliterated, the, the pistons will get damaged. It's just a nightmare. Right, idle roller, let's put that back on. There we go. The crankshaft pulley. So many things. The water pump, of course. There we go. Now let's put the uh, serpentine belt. The other one. And the belt tensioner. Which is kind of weird how we could put the belt on without the tensioner on first. Uh, we put the water pump back on. We've replaced everything, haven't we? The water pump, the... The belt, the timing belt, and the belt uh, tensioner. Yeah, we have. All right, so that's pretty much it for this car. That was easy. Finish the job. All right. Let's see what's next. Controlling car feels loose. Uh, brake problems. Uh, let's take the brake problems. Why not? Tapping sounds from engine bay. Mm -mm, I love that. Oh, and it's the 560. That, that would be nice. I haven't quite worked on that one yet. Because that's uh, for the DLC. All right. So let's see. Well, actually, <laughs> we'll need to uh, put it on one of the lifters. What? I have so much stuff here that I could try repairing. Mm, this stuff is okay-ish. We could use it, you know, for uh, repairing some other cars. But I have to be careful because usually I just look at what's wrong with the car and then I go straight away to buy it. So uh, there we go. That caliper is all crappy. Anything else? That caliper as well, and that caliper. So, I'm guessing three calipers, at least. Let's see. Yeah, three calipers and a brake disc. Alright. Let's go and buy that. Brake disc. Normal one. And there's a drum. And a brake caliper. One, two, three. Alright. That's going to be a fairly easy repair. So uh, this one, let's take it off. Let's take the wheels off. I've been uh, I've been watching a Tata Nano, um, you know, video. Uh, the car has been out for quite a number of years already, um, but it still sort of amazes me, you know. How they managed to make such a small car and so cheaply. Of course, um, the Euro MCAP uh, didn't quite give it very favorable reviews uh, as far as crash tests. In fact, 
Not only did it not give it favorable reviews, uh, it got zero stars for safety, both for, uh, you know, for pedestrians outside and for uh, the passengers inside the car. So, hmm. And then, of course, you know, I was reading the comments on those... Um, on, the, and on that video, and of course some people went straight away to defend the car, that of course it's it's very cheap and, and it was designed to replace, and let's replace this brake disc, to replace motorcycles, so, you know, it can have lax, um, uh, lax, um, safety and such, and it's just, it's just ludicrous, why would you say that, unless you were absolutely obliviously bigoted, you know, that your country makes the best cheap car. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with the Tata Nano for, you know, for such a small car. In fact, I applaud them for trying to, um, you know, bring a small cheap car to the masses of India to replace the motorcycles. Because if you've seen any Indians on motorcycles, you know, in their country, it's quite crazy because they, they're like four to even six people on a motor motorcycle with kids. You know, and it's just dangerous. And a car would, of course, um, you know, make a lot of that more, um, not just comfortable, but also, um, you know, safer. And in a way, also less polluting, because those old motorcycles are quite uh, heavy polluters. But, you know, I, I don't approve of skimping on um, safety, absolutely. But some people um, just think, you know, that's okay. It's, it's designed to replace motorcycles. It's going to be safer. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you fall off a motorcycle, yes, it's very dangerous. But if you get crushed in a car because, you know, the crumple... Oh, let's take a Malik. Um, because uh, the crumple zone is your knees and legs. That's not quite what you want. So anyway, um, that was the first uh, Tata Nano. I don't know how it is with the improved versions. They even have an automatic. So, yeah, th th here we go. We have the Fiat um, 125, I believe. Was it the Fiat 125? Anyway, it was also made in Poland, as in the Polski Fiat, or 125P. Um, yeah, quite beloved by some people. I've never driven in one, um, nor did I want to, but there you go. So, what's wrong with this one? We said the brake pump... The brake shoe and drum wheel cylinder. Okay. Brake pump and brake shoe. Uh, we have to go to the Malak parts. Brake pump. And brake shoe. That's quite interesting. Uh, and the drum wheel cylinder. <coughs> Excuse me. Drum wheel cylinder. There we go. That's going to be all over the place, so, uh, brake pump... It's probably a, by the engine, isn't it? Let's see. I mean, everything is bloody rusty, but... The brake pump should be... Or is, oh, it's there! Look at it! Oh, I didn't know that it, they had it in the front. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, I'll need to, uh, lift it. Let's, uh, put it on a lifter. Tiny little car. Not very overly economical, though. Uh, if you've read any about the, you know, any reviews from those days and the consumption of these cars, it was actually quite insane how hungry these tiny little, you know, 600-ish CC engines were. It's quite ridiculous. So wait a second, where the bloody hell is that pump? It was over here in the front, wasn't it? There it is. How do I get to it? I mean, it looks like it's under there, so I'm not really supposed to take the that stuff off, but there we go. I mean, I'm not supposed to take the whole underside off, but oh well. So let's replace that with a new one. Perfect. Nah, much, much better. Alright, let's see what's wrong here. Oh yeah, we said one of the brake shoes and drum wheel cylinders, so it's one of these, I guess. Don't expect uh, disc brakes on any of these wheels. So where is it? Hmm. I don't think I'll really see it from here. Let us cheat a little bit. Bang. Don't worry, I won't be able to cheat later on because uh, we'll have to find these parts ourselves. So there's one. And there's the other one. Okay, so it's different wheels. That's fine. So let's take this off. 
for uh, wheel nuts only. Man, these wheels look horrible. They're all dirty and... Could I have done that without actually uh, taking out the wheel? I don't think so. Alright, let's take this off. The cap. And the front brake. Hey, it's all drums. Alright, there it is. Oh, I need to take the brake shoe off first. There we go, we'll get you some new shoes right away. No, this one, because this one is okay still. There. Screw that in. And the Malak cap. Alright. There we go. I think that's fine. Let's uh, replace the this one as well. There it is, the brake shoe needs to go off. Yeah, I think I'll need to uh, lower the FOV a bit. Because um, I would constantly need to uh, zoom in myself, otherwise. These wheel nuts look in perfect condition still. But I think that's mostly due to the fact that the game unfortunately doesn't really... You know, it only makes the actual... Um, stuff that you can replace rusty and then denotes how uh used the parts are there we go and the cap goes back on and then the wheel itself perfect all right what was that rdg tire okay no idea what that's supposed to be Finish the job! Alright. Didn't really receive that much, but... Oh yeah, we've got, um... I completely forgot that we're getting skill points we can use. There we go, we've got one point. Oh yeah! So what do we want? Do we want an OBD scanner or do we want... Fast unbolting? Hmm. I'm gonna take the OBD scanner from... Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take fast unbolting for now. It's gonna help us a little bit. Because right now the lists are still provided, so that's fine. Uh, right, let's take the Katagiri Katsumoto. Yeah, let's take that one. General running gear and controlling car feels loose. Alright. Let's see what's wrong with the Katagiri Katsumoto. Hi. Ugh. Why would you take a color like that? Ugh. That is like a Honda Civic, I think. Yeah, that's definitely like, like a Honda Civic. Right. Let's see. I mean, I can just look at the parts. That's quite a lot of stuff. Inner tie rod and sway bar rear end link. So, inner tie rod. Tie rod. And rear sway bar. What? No, wait. Link. Sway bar... Rear end link, right? It was... Yes. Don't we already have that one, though? Let me see. Let's, um... By condition. Wow, zero. Rear suspension, inner tie rod, rear suspension arm. No, we don't have a sway bar. Okay, that's fine. I thought we did. Well, we've, we have these ones, but they're in such bad condition. Let's just sell the junk. Yeah. Alright, so let's uh, get that rear sway bar. What else do we need? Front spring, outer tie rod. I'm just gonna do two at a time. Uh, see, God, and then I start thinking about other stuff and what I'm talking about, and I forget. Front spring, outer tie rod. Jeez. Front spring. Oh, why am I not? Fr what? What's going on? Fr front spring. Outer tie rod. There. What else do we need? Rear suspension arm B. Rear suspension arm B. And rear suspension upper arm, right? Two of them. I believe. Yes, and rubber bushing. Okay. Rubber bushing. That one. Alright. 
That's all ready. So let's uh, put it onto the lifter. And now we have fast unbolting. Fast. All right. Let's check the car out. So there's some, yeah, there's a rubber bushing, one of them. Some pretty bad condition. What do they want? Uh, 51%. Is the minimum. Examine mode. There we go. We can already see it. So these things need to go off. Yeah, that's a lot nicer now. With the fast and bolting. Look at that. Yes. Let's take the rear suspension arm off. And then the whole thing comes crashing down on us. That would be bad. All right, then we have that one as well. Another suspension arm. And let me actually see something. When I put the other one... Yeah, this is 51. This is 61, though. So I could do this one and save the new one I bought. I knew I had one that I could put on here. See, I should have checked first. All right. Now we have that thing over there, sway bar link. Unfortunately, we'll have to take the uh, classic rims off. Yeah, look at the speed now. Speed! Alright, where's this thingy? Sway bar thingy or whatever it is. Where is it now? There it is. Disassemble mode. Off you go. And a new one, shiny new one, goes on. Perfect. Alright, we can uh, replace the rim, which is in fairly poor condition as well, but there you go. All right, now what else do we have at the front? Let's see, we have those little things. The outer tie rod and that one. Let's see. So anyway, yeah, if you're if you're not happy with, you know, how the game just tells it everything, uh, you know, what's wrong with the car, don't worry, as I said, as we progress, um, we will not be getting lists anymore and we'll have to find out the parts ourselves now of course we'll have ways to do that via you know via the, those um, OBD scanners for the engines compression meters and so on and so forth and also with the examine mode now right now they're red because we have lists provided but then we'll have everything yellow uh, I mean white and we'll have to examine it you know like this so let's uh, take this apart this will all, all need to go off I can just and bolt them like this from here. It's kind of easier. Let's take the outer tie rod off. And then the sway bar thingy. No, that's inner tie rod. And replace it. That's some funny music going on. Am I doing that bad of a job? Jeez. You don't have to play clown music. <laughs> uh, right. What else is wrong in this car? Oh, that spring is in quite in bad condition. Let's take that off. Oh. Ah, bloody hell. I should have done that first. Alright, so that goes off. Off you go. Look at the speed. Excellent. Nice. Alright, the spring comes off. And we can replace it with a shiny new one. There we go. And then the other thing goes in, which I already forgot. The sway bar front end link A. Alright, and then the cap, of course. And the classic rims. I think we're pretty much done with this car, if I'm not mistaken. No, the rubber bushing. It's the only one we've forgotten. Where is it? It's probably at the back. Yeah. Why oh, is the one we've actually seen, I believe? That one. Come on. Uh, rubber bushing. Off you go. Don't need you there. Well, we do, but we need a proper one. Oh, I have a, another rubber bushing that's completely fine. 900. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Excellent. All right. So next car is going to be... Controlling car feels loose. Lack of engine power. Let's get this one because it's actually got to do uh, with the engine. 
the Reno Piccolo. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, we're going to continue next time. Bye-bye.